Thanks so much for joining us. Another entrepreneur, a young millennial entrepreneur, Costas Sosulas. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, perfect. Yes. Okay. So you are a senior at Quinnipiac University, mm -hmm. uh, and a couple years ago you decided to be a food entrepreneur, but your dad owns three diners. Yes in Connecticut, so that had to be, right? Of course. So how did you get the idea to say, hey, I'm going to go into the food business uh, and I'm going to come up with Yamello smoothies? Of course. So like you mentioned, I mean, I grew up in the restaurant business, so I didn't really have a chance to, you know, do much other than that. And I saw how much food impacts people's lives. So I wanted to create a product that you could purchase in a store or at a restaurant that's really simple, healthy, um, and all natural. So I started with a small little food truck my senior year of high school. We Where'd you making, get the truck? Um, so I basically found a, a used trailer um, and I would park it right outside of my dad's diner and I didn't really know what I was doing but I just bought the best you know fresh fruit ingredients and I was kind of learning as I went making smoothies and I started really figuring out what ratios work the best, what flavors our customers liked and I eventually started bagging that fruit for our use in the truck so that it was easier and our customers saw the bags like that and they were were asking us if they could purchase them and at that point I realized there might be a need for a, an item like this and, and you're what 19 years old um, then or at something? that point I was uh, 18 18, 18. Okay. so um, I started developing the product and it took us about a year and a half um, to find a manufacturer and all that all that fun stuff and we finally came out with this product that we we've launched now. Why the name Yamello? So I wanted to think of something that was well for us our food is yummy and we're kind of a cooler company like a mellow so I was just writing down names I probably had a hundred names written down and I kept circling back to I put Yamello down and it stuck, so I tried it on our food truck, and people were asking for Yamello smoothies. So I figured, hey, that's actually really catchy, and I went with that for the retail. So pack. there's the branding. That's it. All right, you came up with three flavors yes. so far. What are the flavors? So this one is the Berry Good Breakfast. It's strawberry, blueberry, banana, and I prepared this one with almond milk today. This one's the South Beach that you see here. That's uh -huh. pineapple, mango, banana. And this is our just classic strawberry banana, which is strawberries and bananas. Um, and each bag is just fresh frozen fruit, so there's nothing else added. It's non-GMO and gluten-free. Um, Which no is so good for, for folks who have to be on a gluten-free diet. Exactly. So you just rip off the top. That's it. It's in the frozen food section. Yes. And we should say that you're in Big Y stores yes. already. You can find them on the in the freezer aisle in the frozen fruit section of Big Y. Um, that launched last week, so it's fairly new, but um, things are going well, and it's a, a convenient way for people to go in and, you know, make a smoothie from really the freezer to the finished product in under a minute. And you can add water, orange juice, mm -hmm. almond, almond milk, milk yogurt, whatever you want. anything you'd like. So this this will do it for breakfast, and then you're yeah. on, to, on the go. Exactly. How proud are you to walk into a, a, a major grocery store and see your product? Um, it was the best feeling I've ever had. Um, so I was FaceTiming my professor at Quinnipiac, showing him this, and everyone was lo looking at me in the store. So I just started telling people, this is my product, and it, it's just uh, a surreal feeling because it took so long to accomplish this. But it, you know, I pictured the product on the shelf from day one, and um, you know, seeing it there now is, is incredible. How much did Quinnipiac University and the entrepreneurship program mm -hmm. there help you? Uh, a tremendous amount. Um, I was able to meet very incredible students who helped actually or helping now with interns um, helping with marketing with actual new products um, but my professors there especially Dale Jasinski he was uh, and he still has a, a huge mentor to me um, he guided me through this whole process he remembers from the second I told him that I wanted to do this um, so yeah I'm very very lucky to have had that community where are you packaging these it's uh, so we have a, a family farm in Woodland Washington uh, they source all the fruit a lot of it's uh, picked actually there as well and then we're packaging it and shipping it onto the East Coast. How did you find them? And, and why Washington State? So the quality of the fruit and the um, basically the, the safety measures they have with um, making sure all the fruits are uh, safe to consume and, um, you know, again, like the quality, that's how I found them. It took us, that took the longest time to find a company, um, a farm that we could trust. And I wanted it to be a family-run farm, something that, you know, a lot of the fruit was being grown there already, so that's kind of how we started working together. And Did you look locally, or were they all already set up for packaging and all of that yeah, stuff already? they were already set up uh, for all the packaging. Um, and the other thing is the seasonality of the fruit was tough for us, so sure. um, that's kind of why we've decided to do it that way. But Other flavors are going to be added? 
We are working on a fourth flavor. Is which, it a secret? It's a secret, but not really. It's I wanted to do a, some sort of a vegetable blend or something with protein. A lot of people add protein to these now, so I wanted to do something maybe with protein and veggies and fruit already in there. So I think that'll be our fourth flavor. We should say as we're talking, it's raining on our flat roof yeah. here. So if you hear the rain, that's that's why the, the sound. <laughs> Where do you think your mellow is going to go from here? You've got your hands full. You're, you're graduating from Quinnipiac in December of 2018, that is. Have you thought that this food company will branch out into something else? I think so. I'm, um, you know, right now we do retail and food service, so we also f sell these in uh, various um, coffee shops, restaurants. So my goal would be to have Yamelo as a brand, a health brand. So maybe protein bars, um, other innovative products under the name. Um, you know, we believe in making healthy food fast. So like, a, you know, eating fast food that's healthy. So I want to create products like that that are really quick and easy to make, but all natural and very, very good for you. When you graduate from college, you're CEO and founder of Yamelo Smoothies. This is going to be the job, right? Yeah. Going full, from here full time. Full time. And uh, how scary is that? It is scary. Um, but because I've been now doing it since my senior year of high school, I feel like, you know, this is almost like a child for me. I, sure. It's so weird, you know, I've, it's, I, this brand is so involved in my life now that, you know, all my friends are involved, uh, family, so um, it's scary, but I'm really optimistic about the future. You know, our customers really love it, and that's all that I care about, too, is making sure they're happy. What was the hardest part of you doing this? And I know you said you got help from Quinnipiac, mm -hmm. but still, you're, you're staying up late at night, and you're yeah. calling people and trying to, trying to find out who's going to package it and what kind of fruits and what am I going to call it. What, what was the hardest part of building this company? I think we hit a lot of road bumps during this whole process, and many times I was... You know, I, the thing is, my father knows the restaurant business very well, and even Quinnipiac, there wasn't, I didn't know anybody in this industry, so I had no guidance when it came to this. So when something came up, there was no one I could ask. And I just, you know, I would sit there and I'm like, you know, this might be it for us. A little road bump might end the whole business. And those nights were the scariest because I knew that this had so much potential that I didn't want it to end. That's, that was the hardest part for That's me. That's part of building a business, right? Because you were on the ground floor. Yeah. You built this. You own the story. Yeah. And nobody else does but you. And that will, that will take this brand far. Yeah. Um, as, you, as you continue to go, what's the best advice you would give another entrepreneur who wants to build his or her own company? Yeah. So I would say, I know it's a little cliche, but first, don't give up because I, I mean, there were, I could count at least a dozen times where I wanted to just stop because it was really scary and frustrating, and that would have been the end of this. I would never have seen it at Big Y. So I think if you just persevere, one, you know, things for the most part happen in a good good way but also I think um, mentally picturing something like successful already for me I mean I really did picture it on the shelves of grocery stores and that you know I, I pictured what it would feel like to grab it and to open one and tell people and now that's like an actual reality for me so I think if you can almost manifest your dream it can come it can come to fruition and be real so so now you could be a public speaker too about how to build uh companies i hope one i mean that's that's part of it right uh costas thank you so much thank for being so much. on and i wish you luck and i can't wait to go to big y and buy these thank you so much you're welcome Spend all night kissing and it walks right here, then who else is missing? Got a little sidetracked to find my solution. I found the piece of the door, but it's also a metaphor. Need to keep locked in the grocery store of my mind. Just the same time.